Hi guys, well following on from Samsung's announcement of the 960 Pro in September, they finally lifted that review embargo. And so what better way than to show off this new drive here in a quick guide on how to set these drives up as a bootable RAID configuration. And of course, with all those all important benchmark numbers. Now we actually did a similar video to this with the 950 Pro and it proved to be very helpful to a lot of you guys out there. So again, we hope you find this video today useful. And uh, today we're going to be using the Intel Z170 chipset as X99 doesn't really have the twin M.2s and it can be quite tricky to set up. And so to achieve this, we're going to be using the MSI Z170A Gaming M7 as it has those two M.2s and therefore it means we can avoid using a PCI Express adapter. Now setting up a RAID configuration within Windows 10 is pretty easy if you're intending to use the setup as a secondary drive, but the most beneficial setting for the 960 Pros in RAID 0 is undoubtedly having them as a primary bootable drive because as we're going to see the transfer rates on these drives are nothing short of impressive. Now along with this video we're also going to be publishing a full review of the 960 Pro both uh, showing the single drive performance and the RAID 0 performance. So go check that out, it's on the screen and in the description. So we hope you find this video today useful guys, but if you do stumble across any problems, then please get in touch and we'll do our best to assist you. Okay, well the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously install those two SSDs. So we've got our 960 Pros here and we just plug those into the M.2s on the board. And even if you are planning to add in more than just the 960 Pros, at this stage, to make the process easy, it's best just to leave those drives disconnected. So all we're dealing with is the M.2s and nothing else there can interfere with our installation. Next, you're going to want to get a USB drive ready so you can make a bootable image of the operating system. So for this, we used Rufus, which is a handy little app which is really easy to use. This burns the Windows 10 image directly to that USB drive and it makes it bootable. Now, after Windows 10 is loaded onto that USB, it's essential for us to go and download the very latest Intel Rapid Storage driver because the Windows 10 install demands it. Right now, the December 2015 driver is the very latest, that is 14.8. Your board manufacturer is likely to have outdated versions of the Intel RST, so this just saves any trouble with incompatibility. So we've already downloaded the drivers and put them into a folder on that bootable USB drive. Ready for the Windows 10 install, as we're gonna to need to point to these drivers when you're inside the Windows 10 wizard, as it just makes it easier if it's all on one drive. Okay, we now need to jump into the BIOS. So obviously power the system up and hit that Dell key to access the BIOS. Now between the different vendors, this part here will be slightly different, but uh, the procedure should almost be identical. Just look out for similar phrases and similar terminology. Okay, now with our MSI board, we have a feature here called M.2 Genie. And to use this, you're gonna need the most recent BIOS update. Now in easy mode, you can see that it's available there toward the bottom of the screen. But in advanced, you'll need to go into settings, advanced and integrated peripherals. And so you can see it there in the list, all you gotta do is enable this. And what it does, it switches the board to RAID mode and it enables rapid storage while also taking care of the, of the port mapping. So if you are using a board without this feature, then just switch to RAID from AHCI, enable port mapping, and then save and exit and re-enter the BIOS. So we will use the M.2 Genie, just click OK. And after enabling that, you can see there that it is switched to RAID. And you just need to hit F10 to save and exit. And re-entering the BIOS, we get this prompt here, which tells us that rapid storage is now active and that port mapping has been taken care of. Clicking OK takes us immediately to the RAID setup. And you can see our two 960 Pro are listed there. So just select create RAID volume, give it a name, and we want RAID 0, and then just go into each drive there and select it by hitting the X, and then create volume at the bottom. Okay, so that is now done and it's combined both drives together to form 953 gig as a RAID volume. Okay, now in our MSI BIOS, it's really important that we go into the Windows OS configuration and we enable Windows 10 support. Without this enabled, the Windows 10 wizard will struggle to partition the drive. Next, we've just got to make sure our USB is plugged in and ensure the boot sequence picks it up so that we can boot to it and install Windows. So go back into the settings, go to boot and select USB hard disk. So we're now ready to go. Just hit F10 to save and exit. Okay, so during the post, that Windows 10 image should initiate, and then you go through various screens there on the wizard. 
Okay, so you can see that the only drive Windows 10 has picked up on there is the USB. So the RAID volume hasn't been recognized. So this is the part where that Intel RST driver comes in. So we click on load driver, we browse to that RAID folder with our RST 14.8 drivers. And this will take a bit of time. But as you can now see, our 960s in RAID are now available as an option and we can go ahead and install Windows 10. Okay, so Windows 10 is installed on our RAID setup as you can see. So let's just do a quick reboot to see how quick that boot up time is there with the 960 Pros in RAID 0. So as you can see there, that is super quick. Now we've already benchmarked the 960 Pros in RAID in the full review on Vortex.net, but we'll just run a few benchmarks in this video just to give you a bit of a taster as to how fast these drives are in RAID 0, so enjoy. Right guys, well there you have it. That is how to set up Samsung's 960 Pros in RAID as a bootable configuration. So if you're not familiar with the process already, then it can seem a little daunting at first, but hopefully this guide has given you a bit of guidance really to kind of show you how easy it really is. As I mentioned earlier, to streamline this whole procedure, then it's always a worthwhile thing to get that RST driver loaded onto the same USB as the Windows 10 install. It kind of just reduces the steps in the whole process and it makes it that bit quicker. Now obviously uh, the interface between different board manufacturers is going to be slightly different but you know having used ASUS and Gigabyte boards ourselves uh, the options are actually very similar so you shouldn't get too stuck but if you do however uh, please do not hesitate to get in touch and we'll do our best to kind of assist you and guide you through those steps. So guys we hope you found this video today useful please hit that thumbs up uh, please also uh, continue to support us by subscribing if you want to see more content like this then please hit that button take care and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>